Hello Gemini's. So first of all, I'm going to relay some information for you and then we'll go into, uh, we'll pull out the spread and go into the rest of your reading. Um, first of all, they mentioned some, some friendships that need some reassessment. Okay. So I feel like some people, friendships in your, you know, just, um, your acquaintances, your friend, friendship circle, they're coming through and they're asking you, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And I feel kind of like they're coming out of the woodwork uh, because you have a lot of success that is uh, visible for you right now. You have a lot of visibility. You have a lot of opportunities to give them advice or to even promote them. And so they're coming in. Some of them have been around and they're asking you and they're very sincere. Other people are kind of like riding your coattails and uh, wanting, you know, uh, by associating with you, they want to have like the, the audience. They want to have opportunities for them to kind of just you know randomly plug their products plug their merchandise and things like that so i feel that you are seeing this kind of like a, a mile away it's not like you're you know you're um you're not aware of it and i do feel that you're going to be turning people down on a case-by-case -case basis based on whether or not they have been around when you needed them so i feel like a lot of friendships um they're saying false friends false alliances false people so you want to be a little bit careful but i i feel like you know you're intuitive enough to know who these people are okay um they're mentioning here for many of you there are other opportunities for you to start new work new projects new uh investment opportunities and they're saying in the public limelight working through communication somehow work in um, disseminating knowledge and information such as teaching such as seminars touch such as uh, running focus groups or even being a part of some type of educational endeavor so you're disseminating information you're dealing heavily with the public and I also feel like you're providing people with a lot of insights, okay? So I feel like some of you might be educators. Some of you might be environmental um, or even community outreach advocates. I do see a lot of people um, reaching out for, <clears throat> I, I'm sensing like um, tackling animal abuse. I do feel environmentalists. I do feel some people writing journals, writing articles, getting them published in a very prestigious uh, journal. Um, so I do feel like um, opportunities for you to advertise, opportunities for you to get a huge following and opportunities for you to be giving, talking to or dissemination, uh, disseminating information to a large segment of the population. So it looks very promising. It looks really good. And I feel like your professional standing is going to be uh, fortified for this month where people are seeing you as an expert in a specific field. And I feel like it's really going to help your visibility and it's going to help your credibility. Um, I'm also feeling for many of you opportunities to travel for work and especially meeting with intelligent people. Okay. Travel for work, meeting with uh, people who are also, you know, highly recognized in their field. And so when we're dealing with people like that, it can seem a little bit intimidating. We're going to have to be careful about what we say. We're going to have to be careful that, you know, our facts are checked and that we are referencing or relying on reputable sources to back up our claims and to, um, I, I guess like we just need to be very careful about making sure that, you know, um, our sources are backed up. All right. Um, they're, they're mentioning a lot of intelligent people and the nature of intelligent people is they have a wealth of knowledge. So they don't take anything at face value. They're going to dig deep and they're going to ask probing questions. And they're also going to, you know, they're, they're not going to take everything that you say at face value. Expect to be solicited, expect to be asked, expect to, you know, be conversed with in a way where they might be a little bit skeptical of what you have to say. Don't be defensive, just, you know, be open hearted, open minded and try to explain um, your point of view, your stance, your position with the other people. OK, so I do feel that you're going to be dealing with some um, people that might be top in their industry, top in their fields, and they have a wealth of knowledge. And also it can lead to a very good intellectual exchange between you and other people. 
For others of you working on a consultancy basis, I feel like projects are coming in. They're like literally pouring in. And I feel that contracts, salary negotiations and things like that are going to go in your favor. And um, if you are an educator, if you're working with people or the public in some way, I feel like you're going to have people that are um, th that are really mesmerized by you. They might, you know... Um, they might encroach upon your personal space and they might ask very personal probing questions. They might also be so starry eyed that they, they want to pursue you. They want to uh, court you. They want to, you know, take you out. So I, I do feel like you have some solicitations, um, coming through in that regards. It looks good. It feels to me like it's harmless fun, but I also want to advise you, you are in the public limelight. So be careful about the decisions that you are making, okay? Be careful about um, <clears throat> not publishing too, like, like not giving too much of your personal life away, all right? When you're dealing with others, like revealing too much of yourself and drawing very clear boundaries with other people, it's going to be very crucial. I feel for some of you, there is a, uh, there's a lot of thoughts and discussions about purchasing property, expanding your properties, or even fixing up existing properties to either um, prepare it for sale or to, um, to enhance and increase the value of the existing property. I don't feel like the properties are decrepit and are in dire need of repairs. I just feel like it's cosmetic repairs mainly to up the property value so that you can prepare it for a major sale and you can prepare it so that you can, you know, get more back when you go to sell the, the, the house or the product. And uh, what I'm also seeing as well for those of you who are, I, I guess, of retirement age, you're thinking about investment properties such as a uh, purchasing a vacation property that you can live in, but you you can also like have the opportunity to sell um, or to rent out um, when you're not using it. So I, I do feel investment property that can also you know um, double as your second source of like vacation home or even your vacation home. Okay, so we have some really good positive things coming into the picture. So let me just um, talk about your reading here. I have all the cards pulled out. Um, first of all. I just want to say this, okay? This is the first thing that really jumped out at me. We have here the King of Swords. And the King of Swords, this is um, your energy. This is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And this is also, I feel like, the, the embodiment. This is your energy. Where you are very, very clear about where you stand with people. You are taking a very no-nonsense approach. If people come at you the wrong way, you're going to cut them down and you're not going to, you know, give them that benefit of the doubt to fool you. And then likewise, on the other hand, you know, the sword is just on one side. On the other hand, if other people are coming to you and they are in financial need, they need some type of financial assistance or they are down on their luck and they're not able to have the same opportunities to make traction in the professional life, I feel like if uh, if they're coming to you with sincerity and with, you know, help need for assistance, I feel that you're going to be open hearted and open minded about helping them. But this is kind of like knowing our place in the world, being very, very sure about uh, our intelligence, being very sure and careful and methodical about the way we communicate with others knowing very clearly about, you know, boundaries that we need to draw between ourselves and other people, and especially knowing where we stand with other people. So I feel like you're coming into this month with a lot of plans, a lot of ideas, and you're going to be strategizing to manifest these plans and these ideas um, to, you know, to, to take them into the future with you. What is really crowning this reading here? We have the Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is opportunities. For many of you, they're saying here to err on the safe side, so that means playing it safe, not revealing your cards, not revealing so much about your personal 
um, ideas, your personal goals, or even your personal history, because I feel like people are going to be probing and they might lack the boundary. So you need to, you know, be very, very methodical when you are communicating to make sure that you don't reveal too much, reveal what is necessary. Don't reveal superfluous information that other people do not need to know. Okay. So maintaining our boundaries with other people, I feel like that's really important, but, um, <clears throat> going back to this card, this is basically opportunities coming in people coming to you. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? Do you want to get on board with me for this project? And I feel like all of these things are nice and great. Your time, however, is very valuable. You're not going to be doing things for other people so that they can ride your coattails. I feel like you will be able to help them, especially the ones that are sincere. But I do feel that your time is limited. So there are going to be options that you're turning down. And I feel for some of you, this could be like uh, love offers because, you know, the cups um, energy basically deals with situations where somebody is emotionally um, invested in a situation, in, in a person or in a situation. I feel like you have opportunities coming in. And you also have people soliciting you for dating, romance, etc. You also have opportunities to get involved in social causes as well. I mentioned a lot of environmentalists, a lot of animal uh, or human rights activists. And I see a lot of people who are coming to you with a specific like social justice agenda. And I feel that you're going to get to pick and choose which route you take. Okay. But I, I do feel like moving in for this month, you're skeptical, but you're still willing to listen. You're still willing to hear. But I feel like this sense of skepticism uh, associated here with the card that represents you, the King of Swords, it's all about not wanting to be duped, not wanting to be fed a sob story, not wanting to be like lied to or even deceived by other people. So I feel like your guard is up, okay? Um, I feel like in the recent past, so this is here. This is a seven of cups. So this could be something that happened in the month of July. You have had to kind of like sever ties with, with people when they have re revealed themselves to be a certain way. You have people in your past that you've had a long history with. This could even be, you know, relationship, love, uh, romantic, um, partners. Um, and I feel like, you know, yes, the history was deep. The emotional investment was deep but you didn't have a choice. You had to move away from it because I feel like people were not uh, honorable or were not uh, respectful of, um, of being truthful or being honest or being straightforward with you. Okay. Um, this card usually with the seven of, um, I'm sorry, this is the eight of cups with the eight of cups. It basically indicates a situation we've invested a lot of time in and we wanted it to work. We have the best intentions and for whatever reason, it just didn't pan out the way that you want. And the other person was not able to give you that emotional support. So you are moving away from this and, uh, it's right underneath the seven of cups. So my apologies for the, um, my apologies for the mix up the seven of cups here. This is like fantasy versus reality. When it shows up in the reverse, it basically indicates a situation where we thought thing was going to, things were going to go a certain way. And the reality of it was you might not have had the same, um, emotional investment, or you might have not have had the same agenda with another person. So I feel like some information came to light. Some things were revealed and some truths came into the, the picture to really dampen significant friendships and significant relationships. And now you find yourself in a position where you can't really, you know, see the best in it anymore. And you, you have to take off those rose colored glasses for you to see the reality. What projects would really work out? Who can I really trust? Who is being genuine with me and who is just, you know, riding my coattails or, you know, benefiting off my hard work. Okay. So I feel like this is the month in which you know where you stand with other people. So Gemini's, um, <clears throat> I, I do feel overall relationships, overall friendships, relationships. Okay. They need to be reassessed. And, uh, I feel like the, the reassessment process has happened for many of you in the July timeframe, but I feel like moving forward, there is an element here about some people who are genuine. They're down on their luck or they might've hit some rough spots in their own life.
and they need assistance from you. They're reaching out. And I feel like because you might have been burned in the past, you're very, very skeptical about putting yourself in the same predicament because you're just like, I don't know if you're here to, you know, further your own agenda without with total disregard to what my needs are. So I feel like you're going to be approaching people in a very skeptical manner. And I would urge you, I feel like the whatever happened in the past, or especially in the month of July, whatever people you have cut out, um, don't let that energy taint whatever you're dealing with right now, okay? So it's like once burned, twice shy, and you're going to be extra careful about which people you bring on board, who you're helping, and which causes and, and, and people that you can trust in. So I do feel that element here, but I do feel some people are coming through. They are sincere. They are genuine. They're hitting some rough times, and I feel like it would be good for you to try to help them if you can, okay? If it's not too much um, of an energetic drain on you, I feel like it would be in your best interest to help them. Um, I'm getting a major, major big vibe with you and relationship partners. I do feel we have here an element of you still being a little bit hung up on a relationship past. Okay, so the Four of Pentacles is refusing to let go, refusing to change our ideas, refusing to see an alternative like narrative. So I, I feel like some of you are stubbornly holding on to a specific stance or holding on to a specific person if you are dealing here with an earth sign. So this is a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. They are just as stubborn, and I feel like the both of you are going to be hitting some type of an impasse where you can't agree, you can't compromise, you can't come to a common consensus, and both parties become very, very defensive and very ready to fight and to, you know, defend what they believe in. So I feel this element about uh, conflict with um, especially exes, and um, I, I'm almost sensing as if some of you in the past I'm getting here, this is sort of like um, revealing too much of ourselves, revealing our feelings too fast, and then finding ourselves in a situation where, for example, you were recently involved with a person, you reveal too much of yourself, and then the other person backs away, and now you're kind of left like, what did I do? Should I not have done that? And I feel like there's this awkwardness when it comes to dealing with a, um, like a relationship partner or a romantic partner or a romantic interest who might have, it, it seemed like it had a lot of promise, but now they're taking a step back and you're also getting defensive. Okay. So if that's what you're dealing with, um, hash it out, have a conversation. Mercury in retrograde is actually a very good time. So we do have Mercury in retrograde running around this month and it's going to, um, it's going to be affecting, you know, uh, all of August, as well as um, towards the mid, the midpoint of uh, September. I feel like Mercury in retrograde is a really good time period for people to um, to make up if there has been under misunderstandings, if there has been like communication issues. I feel like it's a good time for both parties to want to clear things up. Okay. Um, reconciliation is not always like rekindling a relationship, but I feel like if a relationship or, um, if the, a new, you know, love interest has come into your life and there has been awkwardness, there has been things that needed to be said, I feel like some of you, it's better for you to hash these things out and it's best for you to try to resolve these issues. Okay. The other thing that comes into the picture here is, um, let, let me talk about children. Because this is what I'm sensing. I feel like the energy of children is going to be coming through very strongly, okay? And I'm going to say that, um, let me see, if you are a male figure, if you're a, a male Gemini watching this, I feel like you are grooming your children. So the children could be male or female, boy or girl, whatever gender they are. I feel like you have very, very clear expectations for them. You're grooming them to follow in your, your footsteps. You're grooming them for, you know, as somebody to continue your legacy. Okay. 
And uh, one thing that you want to be really careful about, and you know, I, I am I am drawn to this image of uh, you know those those um, children pageant um, ch those pageant children, and a lot of them they have parents that are trying to um, live through them. So I feel like you want to be very careful. It's it's good that you're investing in the development of your children, but I feel like you're grooming them to follow in your footsteps and you want to ask yourself if that's appropriate because they're children. They might not know what they want to do just yet. So imposing um, your lifestyle on them might not be appropriate. Okay. I feel like they look up to you. They really idolize you. The, you're, you're kind of like the, the apple of their eye. So they really look up to you. They respect you. But you want to make sure that you're not imposing things on them before they are grown up or grown enough to choose the life path for themselves. Okay. And um, I do feel for others, especially uh, female Gemini, self-identified female Geminis. I'm also sensing that you have some rebellious children here. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. I feel that you have some rebellious children. They're fiercely independent. They want to, you know, fly the nest. They want to be on their own. They want to travel overseas. They want to do something that they can, um, that, that they can, um, so that they want to undertake something that can allow them um, to prove themselves to the world that can allow them to undertake new things that can allow them to leave the nest and I feel like you're fiercely fiercely protective of your children you're fiercely protective and overprotective of your children and I feel that you want to make sure and you want to be aware that they need to do this because it is a part of their life path they need to do this because their dreams and their aspirations and their emotional, professional, mental development is very, it's, um, it's contingent upon, you know, whether or not they are able to be independent. So let them go, let them find their way and they will come back to the nest, you know, when they're ready. They need to do this to pursue higher dreams, higher calling, and higher aspirations. So I feel like it's a bittersweet process of release, um, understanding that your children are grown up, understanding that your children are going to need to make decisions on their own, and understanding that they're at a point where they are yearning and striving for their own sense of independence. And you cannot interfere and, you know, I feel like it's a bittersweet release process, okay? Um, for those of you who have uh, fire sign children, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, I do feel there are some um, some issues here between independence and closeness. There are some issues here between differences in family values. There are some issues between individuality and group think, you know, uh, or even family loyalty. But I feel like it's individuality versus group think. And so I feel like they want to make their way in the world. They need to be on their own. They need to find out what's right uh, and what's appropriate for them. So I feel like you might have tried to keep them really close under your wings to protect them, to groom them, but it's not appropriate anymore. And so the, the process of release is going to be coming through for this month. And as a result of it, there's going to be some restructuring within your household. There's going to be some changes, fluctuations, people moving in, people moving out, and your ideals of what, you know, um, a household is supposed to be. I feel like these things are going to be changing, okay? Um, on top of that, I do want to emphasize the fact that this is a, a card overall of uh, spiritual healing, emotional healing as well. So I do feel there are going to be a lot of this like outpouring of support coming through from family members. Even if you have like complicated home environments, such as blended families, multiple parents, stepchildren, adopted children, whatever the situation might be, it seems to me like the housing environment itself is a little bit unorthodox and unconventional. But the love nonetheless is going to shine through because I feel like you have provided a very good support system and a foundation for the kids okay there are people coming in leaving traveling um leaving the house there might even be that that uh restructuring within the house like the physical foundation of the house you might be adding um you might be remodeling adding more units to the house to accommodate a larger family um you might even be 
if you have like an ancestral home that you've been hanging on to because out of, you know, sentimental reason or whatever the reason might be, you're hanging on to a property and I feel like you're telling yourself it's either for sentimental reasons or it's either you want to hang on to it so then when your kids are old enough, they you, you want to give it to them. And in the process of hanging on to it, I feel like it's depreciating in value. It's also, you know, getting older, so it might need extensive repairs by the time the kids inherit the house. And so they're telling you to try to release these things, okay? Because they are material things, and your kids are, are, are okay without them. And then on top of that, I feel like for some of you, you might hang on to a, a property for sentimental reason, and I do feel that this is the month where the releasing process might need to happen. But I feel like one... A uh, phase of your life is ending and another one is beginning and in the process of of releasing these things you're gonna feel this weight lifted off your shoulders and you're just gonna feel a lot more hopeful and joyful and you're gonna ask yourself like I wish I'd done this sooner I wish I'd I've had the insights you know to do this sooner so that it wouldn't be such a burden on me um, I'm feeling for a lot of you overall the star also indicates recognition so this is like People coming in, asking you for opportunities to collaborate, to work with them, to ally with them, to travel with them. So travel is highly indicated for this uh, month. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's like business travel, traveling to meet people, traveling to talk, traveling to expand your alliances, and especially traveling so that you can do something in the public limelight so you can interact with your with a certain demographic group so that you can um, expand your credibility <clears throat> and visibility in the professional front. And I also feel advocating, advocating for a specific like uh, social agenda is highly indicated. Okay, so social agendas or even like um, a social cause. Once again, environmentalism, um, animal rights, human rights, things that affect humanity on a whole I feel like you are heavily immersed in this and your um, being in the, the the limelight will allow you to reach people from many different walks of life and I feel that you're gonna your your messages will resonate with them on a very pure soul level you have a lot of good things coming through for you Gemini's I'm really really happy to see this and uh, I feel like you have worked tirelessly very very hard to get you where you are right now and I feel for for many of you it was a very lonely process it was a very time-consuming process you didn't, you know, you, you might have like forego um, financial stability in order to do all of these things because you believed in the merit of it. You believe that one day it is going to uh, work out. One day my time will come. And I feel like this is the month in which your time has arrived. And I feel like you're going to make very strong traction into the world. Okay. So. I'm really excited to see this for you. I feel that you're going to be networking with a lot of great, amazing people. Um, just, um, I, I want to say, like, you might want to soften up when it comes to communication because I feel like you're going to win over a lot of allies that way, okay? So soften up, but I also feel this element here about not revealing too much about yourself, okay? So reveal just enough, maintain that enigma, maintain that mystery, and, um, you know, people will be very attracted to you uh, and want to hear what you have to say. So let me see what is going on for you guys for love, romance, and relationships. So, love, romance, and relationships for Gemini's, August 2017. They're, they're really telling you, you need to close some doors on the past. Don't entertain it anymore. Um, if someone chooses to walk away, let them walk away. They don't have the... They, they don't have a say whether or not they, they can come back. That's not, that, that's not right, okay? If somebody walks away... They need permission to come back. And then I feel like for others of you, um, 
<clears throat> it's sort of like this this curiosity about what the people from the past is doing. And, uh, you know, air signs are naturally very, very inquisitive. They, they want to know what's going on. And uh, they might revert to snooping as well, you know, uh, digging, social media, spying, and things like that in order to find out what other people are up to because air signs are extremely, extremely inquisitive. And so the advice here is, you know, once you <clears throat> have emotionally crossed somebody off your romantic radar, it's really important to keep them off your radar. You know, don't uh, don't dig into what they're doing. Don't uh, let curiosity get the best of you. Just let things go, okay? So, <clears throat> no excess, all right? Um, Mercury retrograde is a major, major time for um, excess to cycle back in and for us to revisit relationships. And then when we get back together... The next Mercury uh, retrograde cycle can also signify a breakup. So I want you guys to be very careful about not wasting time here with dead-end relationships and just really, you know, try to implement major moves, try to move on with your life and try not to revisit old haunts, old people, okay? Okay, so let me talk about the foundation first because I feel like some of you are dealing with another air sign here. So we have here the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that is brand new, newly single, coming into the picture and coming in very excitedly. And I feel like this person, their energy is very similar to you. They're easily excited. They like to um, they they like to share experiences with you. The thing about um, water signs is like they they need that emotional connection, right? And then earth signs earth signs need to feel trusted and wanted and needed. And then we have like uh, fire signs that want to share experiences with you. And I feel like with air signs, the the way that the the energy is embodied in this card. This is somebody that likes to travel, somebody that, you know, they, they see something cool, they take a picture of it, they send it to you. Because that's how they, they, they communicate, that's how they show their love, that's how they show their appreciation. So I feel like you are finding somebody who's very similar to you, who is single, who is honest, and who is, you know, on the lookout for love and relationship. And they're coming to you with a lot of ideas. Do you want to do this? Do you want to see this with me? Do you want to share this experience with me. So I feel like that's what's happening here. And this is somebody that is really, really excitable. Okay. So they have a, a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of stamina. They can be really, really fun. And uh, you might be dealing with this person, but I feel like the relationship or the, the courtship or the rapport between the two of you, it's lacking in emotional depth and it's lacking in physical chemistry. So it's linked up here with the three of pentacles. This is a very uh, compatible union. I feel like they're, you know, it's a fellow air sign. So they're very compatible with you. But it feels almost as if they want to do it more in a platonic way rather than a romantic way. So I feel like between you and this person is really difficult to get past that friend zone. It's really difficult for the two of you to have emotional connections. And it's really difficult for the two of you to really have that, you know, soul bonding, that chemistry, that emotional connection for a relationship to form. I feel like if you're dealing with this person, they're very trustworthy and they're a great companion. They're, they're somebody that will uh, be very dependable, reliable, and when you need something, they're going to be there. The Three of Pentacles is like working together with another person to improve our lives, to build something of value, to expand and to form a very good foundation. So foundationally with this person, I feel like it can work out, but I feel like the emotional connection is a little bit absent. Either they're feeling it from their end or you're feeling it from your end. So you're not really sure whether or not to, you know, um, I feel like you're still testing the waters with this person for those of you dating another air sign. And from the past, 
we have here the Hermit and the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is kind of like um, an online dating type of energy, okay? It's kind of like um, communication through the internet, communication through some type of a communication channel where you are not seeing that person face to face. You're not dealing with that person in the flesh. And it's linked up here with the Hermit. And the Hermit is sort of like looking at pictures, looking at online profiles, looking at people and trying to, you know, figure out like, what's a good fit for me? So I feel like some of you have recently started dating. Some of you are single, recently started dating. Um, I feel that you have some options here that are on the table and you're trying to choose between these options. Um, for others of you, I feel like it, it just feels to me like you're looking at a lot of options, but no one is really catching your interest. And moving into the month of August, we have a water sign that's really, really vying for you. Okay, so we have here a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is somebody that you have a great deal of magnetic attraction with. The moon basically indicates romance. It indicates as well going on dates, going to musical events, going to lounges, going to going out dancing, going to concerts, and doing things you know like uh, that that one would classically consider date night activities. So I feel like you have this person here, where there is a lot, a lot, a lot of romance, a lot of attraction. For others of you, I feel like you have another air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, where Things are great, but it feels like it's lacking in that emotional depth, okay? Crowning this reading is something that you are thinking about. For many of you, you have left a relationship behind that left a really bitter taste in your mouth. The Ten of Swords signifies the end of a cycle. This is feeling very betrayed, feeling as if you've had like a major falling out with another person and that things cannot be the same as they were before. So it's like irreconcilable differences. Agree to disagree and you can no longer be together. <clears throat> Even if you agree to disagree, you can't be together. And it came about as a result of some information, some news coming to light, coming into the picture where you're no longer, you know, idealistic and you are seeing things for what they are. I feel like somebody was juggling two options. Okay. Um, I honestly feel Gemini's. I feel like you were dealing with somebody that had two options. They might be in another relationship and you might have been the mistress. They might have been married and you were, you know, the mister or the mistress, like the, the third party. And I also feel like they were still interacting with people from their past and acting and behaving as if they were single. So I feel like you were dealing with some, somebody like this. Um, for some of you, it might have been an earth sign, okay, like a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel like for others, you were dealing with somebody that might have been very uh, deceptive. Uh, they had like a secret life and they kept a lot of information from you. And I also feel as well, I'm not seeing this so much, but um, it could go both ways, where you might have two other people that you're deciding between. And um, because you have these two people that you're hanging out with, there might be some misunderstandings. And the person that you like, they might think that you're, you're keeping your options open. Even though these might just be platonic options, they think that you have other people on your plate. Okay, so I feel like some clearing the air is necessary if there has been misunderstandings. And I also feel that if you are moving on, if you are single, you have options here. What's coming into the future position? We have here the Five of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So this is a card kind of like being stuck alone in a cave, not having an option out, not feeling at our best, not feeling attractive, not feeling, um, you know, sexy and just desirable. So I feel like a lot of you have um, broken up from relationships and you were feeling like this, but this is the month where you start to socialize, you start to mingle, you're starting to go on dates. And I feel like offers for love and romance are coming through to kind of like show you the way out of this place of 
darkness and insecurity so i feel like you have offers um solid relationship offers that are on the table for you i do feel a very strong water sign and a very strong air sign that's coming into the picture um with the with the other air sign i feel like it's very platonic they're great i feel like you're very compatible but it seems like something is missing and then with the water sign it feels like you know it can go the distance it feels like this is somebody that is very receptive and very uh thoughtful about what to say what to do to make you feel good and to you know and i i feel like they're a lot more sincere because this is uh somebody that you know they they know what to say they know how to be emotionally available to another person they want to give their love to another person so they're ready for a relationship so gemini's you have some awful thing um you have some awesome things excuse me coming through in the relationship sector and i feel like a lot of you who might have uh, gone through bad relationships you are socializing you are dating you're putting yourself out there and you're meeting new people that you can you know really connect with and I'm also feeling as well I'm, I'm feeling as well it, it's hard for you to get over that past relationship because you thought it was a soulmate connection okay but I feel like the other person didn't believe so the other person might have been juggling multiple options and so I feel like moving forward make yourself available for dating you are going to be solicited make yourself available for dating and make yourself available as well um, so that you can restore your sense of self-esteem okay i'm gonna leave it at that and um i just feel like you you're better off leaving past relationships in the past okay and just moving on with your life you have really good positive things coming through okay um i wish you the best um and i'll be back for the mid-month reading okay and um also my apologies for publishing this video for you guys a lot later than the other signs i was really really caught up with um a bunch of stuff um towards the end of this month and you know i i thought i would be able to get them out you know at the 19th by the earliest but i was very sick from the 15th to the 19th so my sincerest apologies i hope the reading is helpful i hope that is timely and i do wish you all the best take care of yourself okay i'll talk to you soon bye bye